everybody good morning this is Jean here Jean true love from true love quotes for you I hope you're all well I am uh, doing much better thank you um, I'm recovering from my broken toe and my COVID and my all my other ills and everything I'm taking lots of supplements I've gotten lots of suggestions from you people and they are working although I'm still having to take things very easy and the reason I'm saying that is because I'm doing this tutorial on my kaleidoscope quilt and this is part two um, the last part oh there is a, going to be a playlist for this uh, this uh, quilt that I'm doing this tutorial because I haven't done a tutorial in a, in a while my one block wonder kaleidoscope quilt um, the next part that is to come that I am working on now is is not quick at all and again I repeat myself you know that I repeat myself repeat myself repeat myself you guys don't mind um, because I've never done this um, and I'm trying to figure it out as I go along and I realize really really truly even though it looks an incredibly um, difficult quilt as I will show you what some beautiful examples look like of what this tutorial is They are beautiful, beautiful examples that I've not done, but gleaning this and that from each little tutorial that I have watched here on YouTube, um, I've come to the conclusion that it's really, really step by step by step. And as you, if, uh, if you've known, followed me before, you know that that's how I like to teach. I repeat myself a tremendous amount, but somebody said it looked like an advanced experienced quilter uh, challenging pattern and I thought that also and as you know I make very simple quilts even though I'm an experienced quilter at this stage of my life I, tr I try to make very simple simple quilts I'm not I I've, I've been there done that I don't have to challenge myself and so wh whenever I saw this uh, quilt which again I didn't know over the years if I actually liked it because to me, as I said, I, I think I say it when I'm ironing, it looks like sometimes a, a cacophony of, of, of a f explosion of color and fabrics. And, it, and sometimes I thought, do I like that? But I love the look when it's with a, pad, or with, a, with a panel, which I'm doing with my panel, as you know. So if you follow along with me, you will see that I've only done about four in this video here tutorial I've only done about four blocks and even then they're half blocks but you have to be very very careful not hard but very careful that you keep track of everything I'm, I'm so having to really concentrate on what I'm actually sewing what I'm actually pinning together to keep it, those things in order um, that was the difficult part and it's not even difficult it's like that's what you do to keep things in order okay so that's that um, so that tutorial is to come but I also wanted to share with you um, oh years ago you had seen in our original home our mural that, that, that I was saying that we had taken down from our original home um, what happened was in our original family home we had a like a from the family room to the kitchen a soffit drywall soffit that my friend had come along and had painted this beautiful beautiful mural about this big just on the on the soffit spring summer autumn and winter and then what happened as the years went by we had 
uh, accumulated our children's names in, in, in wooden form. A friend had made them. And little houses, again, we had, uh, we had collected these things. I'm a collector. And then again, we collected little turtles. Well, all of the, the turtles, the names, and the houses were in front of the mural. Well, since we've moved several times, the mural, I thought we had to leave at our original home. As you know, there's a whole video on it <clears throat> way back when in 2019. I was devastated that we had to leave my mural, my hand-painted mural, on the drywall. It was painted. Our son, Elliot, took, took, he said, oh, well, the house is going to be renovated anyway. He actually cut the drywall off, if you remember. He cut it into four pieces because it's about 25 foot long. Um, and then we had it in our last house in my sewing room, way on, the, on this vaulted ceiling sewing room. Well, then we lost that. Well, then we lost that house in the flood and the tornado, um, and it's all, it's now, as of a few weeks ago, Maxwell came and he actually took it down, and we had it. And we had it stored in the trailer, and then the other day, Ian and Maxwell and myself, we put it up on our porch and it fit perfectly. Now what we are... So as you know, this is our front porch to our lovely little house here on the prairie. <laughs> and a lot of you have been wondering where, oh hopefully you can see it, our mural, our lovely mural, look. We're just so thrilled that we have our mural on our lovely porch. Perfectly. Now what we are going to be doing is we're going to be um, like sealing it. I think there's like an outdoor Mod Podge you can get for like um, bird houses if you make something crafty that the elements. So we're going to be sealing it right now. So it's, it's, it's been a bit bruised and battered over the last few years being moved, but it's so special. So now you can't see it from the road. It's on the inside of our I lovely that. porch. And I have our turtles. Me. And you, you understand it, you people who have been following me. If you're new here, you don't get it. You don't get me. <laughs> we like stuff. I have stuff. I have all this stuff. Um, but I was so very thrilled. Somebody said, oh, I think, Benita, you had asked. Um, you're so anxious to see what we've done with our mural. And it is now up. And, um, and hopefully the lighting is good enough. You will see that we have our Mastroika dolls for every single true love. And then our specially made turtles which again, we're under our mural that a, um, a lovely person had made for us, had carved for us. So our turtles have gone up. There's a whole video of this. You might be thinking, what is she talking about? Turtles and murals and, and Mastroika dolls. But these all have a very special place. There's Maxwell at the very end. These are our 10 children and their, their respective families. And we each have a turtle. Well, not 40 of the family members, the, um, our, Ian and myself and our 10 children each have a turtle. 
so that, that's our turtles. So then again, you might remember that we had our names made for us personally by a good friend, Ian, myself, and our 10 children. And then we had each chosen a house that we loved. And these names and the houses were under the mural, in front of the mural with the turtles below. So, <laughs> so we, we didn't put them all together because there wasn't a place for it. So we've divided it into three. And this is where, this is our family room. This is where our houses and our names have come home. <laughs> Hopefully this is our last home. Yeah, we're so thrilled. Now up. And um, it just is like perfect. Our home here, well, I keep saying it, our home. We've been so blessed with this home. It, it was like made for us. And um, everything fits. Maxwell is freaking out at all, at all the time. He goes, oh my goodness, everything fits so beautifully. So that's that. We were doing that. Um, Maxwell's fine. He's out with Ian today. Um, I'm here. I'm working on this and it might be a little while. I don't know how long, but it might be a little while before I uh, come to my next part. Because if you're following along, this part of the sewing and the keeping track of our blocks is going to take you a while as it's going to take me a while so step by step by step i do hope you enjoy the following tutorial on my kaleidoscope quilt with my panel i love my panel and if you haven't already check out for me i love eQuilter.com. a lot of people say what online fabric there's tons and tons of different ones but i personally love eQuilter.com. their website is extremely easy to navigate their selection of fabrics and the color i have never once been disappointed with the um color and the quality of the fabric uh the color that's on the screen is the color you're going to get even though they make the disclaimer that it might be different but i personally have been satisfied 100 percent with eQuilter.com. so i'm not i'm not sponsored by them i'm not paid by them but they've been wonderful to me through the years and i would gotten this ukrainian this is a um uh, an exclusive panel from eQuilter. Uh, there were four images in it, as you know. But this is the panel I'm using for my lovely little kaleidoscope quote. So again, check out my playlist. That was the, f the first one, how to do it. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll get there in the end. So I hope you enjoy this video, folks. Thanks ever so much, again, for all your support. And love from the true loves. All right, bye-bye. Before I take my blocks over to my sewing machine and sew them, I wanted to try to demonstrate how our six exact cut triangles can become three different blocks now um i don't i think most of you understand that um i am very um challenged when it comes to lefts and rights and i really didn't have a clue um how to do this um just reiterating how i actually cut my triangles i have this ruler here that has a um a square at the top okay which I, however I was going to be cutting so that's how I cut my triangles and it had a square at the top so when I cut these I'm orienting my six fabrics with the square not the point the square into the center okay so if you have so I'll just, I'll just show you, uh, because I really did get confused with this. I'm, I'm not trying to be, uh, you know, th this is a very real thing that I have problems with. So please bear with me. So uh, you can see, without the seam allowances, my, my block here coming together really pretty in this kaleidoscope way. Okay, I'll put it back my head. So there's my lovely kaleidoscope block right there, um, without the seam allowances, of course, which would make it a little tiny tiny little bit smaller but um uh, quite a few people were telling me if i turn each triangle one way to the left or the right i'll get another pattern there's three different ways this can happen so this is my right so i'm going to turn my block one way to the right 
one way to the right. Okay, I, okay. One way to the right. Oh, I see, okay. One way to the right. Was that to the right? Yeah, one way to the right. Ah, yes, I did it. Ah, okay. Ah, so there you see yet another design pattern. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> but just for my... Let me just see another one. So if I turn it this way... Uh, is that right? That way. Oh, look at the peach coming into it. Is that right? Ah, oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, oh, wow, yeah. So as you can see, all of these different blocks can be put together in three different ways. Now, I'm, I'm actually choosing to do it the original way. Well, maybe, I, I, no, no, I'm going to do it the original way because that's how I'm going to sew them together. And that's for me with this little square there because I, I'm going to get confused as it is. So I'm okay with it with my little square there as it is. Now, I was saying to you that we are not, this ends up a lovely hexagonal block, right? Well, we're going to be sewing these in uh, in rows, okay? So I'm going to go over to my sewing machine now, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to sew my blocks together. So I'm at my machine here. I've already done a few. Um, but as you can see, I just have a small pile of my uh, pinned together blocks here, and then the rest are over here. And as I was saying, I'm going to be showing, I'm going to be putting the squared off uh, section of my block into the center, okay? So I'm going to take my one pin out, and I'm going to take two of these, and I'm going to be placing the right sides together, the pretty sides together. Hopefully my hands aren't in the way. I'm trying to do this so you can really see what I'm doing here. Okay, so the pretty sides are together. And for me, my center is down here. I'm going to, I'm being chain piecing, but I'm not chain piecing the entire block. And I'll explain that. Okay, now I'm going to be doing my quarter inch seam with one set of two. And then I'm going to be doing my quarter inch seam, the pretty sides together. Okay, now you must remember there are six, there are six triangles to one block. Now what I've done is I've sewn together two and two. I have two left. What I'm going to do, and I don't know if this is how anybody else did it, but in for, order for me to keep track, I'm going to put the other two that match this one, I'm going to take my pin and I'm going to pin them together. Now, I want you to see that I've already done this. As I've chained a piece, a, a, just a few, to try to figure out in my own brain what I'm doing. So I've sewn two and two, and I've put the other odd two, not sewn, attached to their, 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 their little family there, okay? Now that's right now how I'm keeping it in order, okay? So again, I'm keeping my pin here. I'm, sh I'm finding how I want to do my kaleidoscope design. Mine is the little squared off edge here, squared off edge. And I'm putting pretty sides together on the right-hand side here matching them up, putting them under my presser foot, and sewing a quarter of an inch. I'm doing it with a second pair, finding my squared off edge to my squared off edge, pretty sides together. And again, I was watching many tutorials, and they just sort of whizzed right through it, and then I don't know what they did. I don't know. This is how I'm doing it. So then I'm taking my separate two that I have and I'm going to attach them back here to, let me just put that like that, just somehow attach it to the, the block that it belongs to. Okay. 
so now what I'm going to do, and I, this is actually new to me, so bear with me. I'm going to separate these. Now I do know I'm going to separate that one chain, okay? My blocks are still together because I've pinned them together. So I'm just going to separate these few that I've done. All right. Now, what we want to end up with, that, that that's all there is to this sewing here. What we want to end up with is, let me just do it here. We want to end up with a block with six triangles in it. Okay. So let me cut this apart here. I'm going to do this, this block here. Okay. This pretty block here. There's the... Let me find my little square and my square. Now, what I am going to do before I do anything, because again, this is this is going to take a this is going to be a, a longer process. I'm going to go over and I'm going to iron my seams open, okay? Because I do know that when there's an intersection of many seams, there's going to be bulk. So I'm just going to finger press that for now what I've already done. Okay. Be careful because they're bias edges. Just don't, don't be afraid to iron them, but don't be afraid. Don't be, don't be stretching them. Okay. Here's my squared off center. I'm going to do the exact same thing here. I'm going to press this open, finger press it open. I'm all thumbs here. You must excuse me. It's early. <laughs> Just finger press that, but I will take my time and I will go over to my ironing board and I will absolutely op um, open these seams beautifully. Okay, so now here are my two extras. Okay, and here are my two sewn pieces, right? Okay, and there makes my, oh, wait a second, is that right? Is that right? No. No. Oh, there you go. With the ribbon around it. You see what I mean? You can get really messed up. Okay, the green is there. Or is that right, Jean? Did I do that right? Oh, yeah. The green, the, the orange ribbon and the, the ribbon around here. The kaleidoscope's freaking me out. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it ever so slowly. Ever so slowly. Yeah, okay. So anyway, how it's going to be constructed, and when we, next week, when I put it up on my design board, what we're going to be doing is, I'm going to be sewing this odd piece to this one, okay? And then this odd piece over to here. Now, as you can see, I have... A hexagonal block but what are we going to be sewing we're going to be sewing a straight seam with rows we're going to be sewing row by row okay even though we're going to be the end result is we have this beautiful hexagonal block all around our panel we are going to be constructing this row by row and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just with this one because I, I'm going to do this very very slowly very very carefully and press my seams open before I, I do this point but I'm going to do it right now now just bear with me pretend that this seam here is really beautifully sewn uh, really really beautifully opened up okay so here's how my block is going to look and so I'm going to flip this spare one over, my square in the middle, and I'm actually going to sew it. I'm going to sew it this way, making sure that my seam is open at that juncture. Like that. And then I'm going to sew this one over. And again, so it can be confusing, but if you do it ever so slowly, I think it's going to be okay. Hopefully my hands aren't in the way. It's just for me, with the way my brain works, the design would, is sort of freaking me out a little bit. So I'm going to pull this off. Now remember, this is one, one block that we've sewn. Okay, I've sewn one hexagonal block here. 
but we're not going to be we're not going to be um, putting the block together at this point right now okay so there ah oh, yeah so there's my hexagonal block if and when it gets sewn together with the seam what a beautiful block but then we have all of these wonky seams da 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 so this whole point this whole um method is to sew the 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 um the rows together okay so we're going to be sewing rows together so what I'm going to do now is after this has been really pressed it's not pressed at all as you see but I'm what right now what I'm going to do with all of my blocks with all of my blocks I'm going to first of all I'm going to sew them into two and two and then attach the next two okay just to keep it straight in my brain all right I'm going to do that with all I have all of these over here I have all of these left over here so that's going to take me a while I'm not going to rush this at all okay and then the next process is to go over to my ironing board and then iron all of the seams keep them do it one at a time i've seen i saw so many tutorials when they're like flying through this they're they're doing that and then they're putting the next one on and i'm thinking i can't do it that fast i i just can't do it that fast so so like here so now i've done this one i'm going to take my pin off now you guys may find a, a quicker way to do it but um, that's not about me right now <laughs> i'm taking things slow and steady so i unpick that chain I open it up. I, I can see that my square bit was here and here and here. All right. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to go over to my ironing board. I'm going to press that open. Blah, blah, blah. You, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to press that open. But I will demonstrate one more time to get it straight in my head too. Okay. I'm going to go iron these. Very good. So actually, P.S. I've come over to my little ironing board here, as you know. My big ironing board is in my other room. But I have this little ironing board here that I actually got on um, Overstock.com. It's, it's a little tiny ironing board here. It has little baskets underneath. It's really quite sweet. And I have um, my big lovely iron, my Alessio iron. But for now, I have this other little, um, a little Alessio, little, um, like a little portable iron um, in my little area that I have here. So what I've done is I'm going to be bringing over what I've just sewn, okay? Now, I didn't iron anything. I didn't press anything. So for now, I'm going to take my pin off of these. Let me just put this down here. And as you saw... I want to be op I want to be opening the seams, okay? And I'm actually going to give this a little tiny bit of spray with my I have like a, a light finish spray. And again, because it's on the bias, you need to be very, very careful. I'm not overworking this. I'm not I'm not um, uh, pulling anything. I'm just ironing these seams open and keeping this straight edge here. Okay, we have a straight edge. That's where our rows are going to be sewn. Okay? And again, we're going to obviously absolutely need your design board because you're going to get, or I'm going to get completely all confused. So as you can see, I have my straight edge right, right there. Okay? But it's very important before this point, I'm only demonstrating because I... I've, um, I did this before for demonstration, but I'll show you in a minute. So I have that side there, and then I'm just going to hit it with a little bit more spray. When we go to iron it together, there, I mean, when we go to sew it together, there's our beautiful block. Okay. So now I'm going to show you, so I'm going to put these two, they're beautifully pressed together like that. All we're doing is we're creating our blocks and we're putting them together, just like you would do pretty much in any quilt. And I'm then configuring them, my extra ones, configuring them like, ah, how pretty. like that and then sewing them then ironing them I should say ironing them and then sewing them and then you will have a whole pile P 
pin together pin to pin them together nice and flat after they've been sewn pin them together and then we will start arranging them and that this is going to take me a while i'll put the video up now but this is part this is part uh two of maybe however many but so in this uh video right now you're 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 um chain piecing attaching each block coming back snipping them apart again sort of chain piecing them together i'm going to put these together i don't want them to get messed up because i haven't sewn them yet and then um ironing them ironing your seams open and then figuring out your pretty block Figuring out at the end of the day what it's going to look like. Oh, how beautiful, how beautiful, how beautiful. Look at that. Ah, so awesome. And then we're going to go to our design and board. And then next, that's, the next time I've had these all put together, like this one, I'm going to go over. I'm going to attach my batting up. My, uh, I have a flannel black tablecloth. I'll put that up on my wall somehow. And then we can start step messing about. So I hope you've enjoyed this, folks. And, um, yeah, stick with me. We may get, we may get there in the end. All right. Love from the true loves, everybody. Bye.